So this piece was honestly kind of a struggle when I was working with it. In the beginning, it was a painted rocking chair and I was started off with sanding it. And then I tried stripping the paint off to get it down to that natural wood. And then I soon realized that it was gonna be a little too hard. So I decided to just paint the piece. Sometimes this happens in projects and you just gotta work with it. After wrestling with this rocking chair for a little bit, once I started sanding, I sand it with my 120 grit sandpaper just to rough up the paint so that the paint can adhere to my surface better. I'm painting my chair this lovely lilac color and I'm using a chalky finish paint, stirring it up and getting right to painting. Chalk paints have such a nice thick finish that it really covers up everything and you only need like one to one and a half coats. Now I started off painting my chair with just a brush and then I soon realized to get in between all the tiny spaces in the chair, like the poles, it was kind of hard to do with the brush so I did the sock method instead. And this is where you just put on a rubber glove and then an old sock on and then you just paint simply with your hand and you get to have a hand as a paintbrush and it's kind of fun and it works great. Using this method really makes it so that you see no streaks in your work and everything has such a smooth finish, which is what you want on a piece of furniture. This process is definitely more hands-on and you just feel like you can control the paint a lot better. My favorite thing to do when flipping furniture is to combine different stencils. I'm applying three different types of stencils onto this one piece and I was really just looking to see how they complement each other and they're all different shapes and sizes but all have a very organic and ornate feel to them. Some are more detailed patterns while others are larger more floral designs. Giving a piece all that variety is really what gives it its uniqueness. After stenciling, I knew that the piece needed a little something more and I added these metallic accents onto the legs in the grooves that the chair already had. I was going back and forth between gold and this pearlescent color and I chose the pearlescent color because of the cool tones that complemented the lilac color better. This transformation is so much more light and fresh and I love how the contrast of the two pale colors work together. This is the quietest pop of color that I have ever seen and it is really working for me. Head to our website to check out more of our stencils and don't forget to tag us on social media with your stencil art.